Hi, good afternoon. My name is Shea Day, and I actually want to welcome you to my CCNA training. This training is actually aimed at showing you how you can connect two, I, two routers together using um, GNS3. Okay, so I'm actually open, actually open up my GNS3 open here. So the, this is the interface. Okay, so uh, actually I have uh, two routers already installed. Uh, I have um, two routers series. So I'll be using 2600 series K okay, to connect two routers together. Just just a brief um, demo. Okay, so I have router one ready. I have my second router, router two, because I closed the router. So I click on my. I'm still waiting for the name to show my other link. Okay, so I want to add an interface. That I could use to connect just two routers together. So I click on the router, I use Ethernet 0 slash 0, I connect it in the circle one, interface Ethernet 0 slash 0. Okay, so they're actually all co connected together now. So I switch it on. Okay, so the, my two routers are actually up now. So let me do a little bit of documentation to make it um, very neat to so add a note. So I'm using a 10.10 .10 network. Okay, slash 32, slash 30 side annotation. So I have two valid host IP addresses, so I won't have to waste a lot of IP addresses. Okay, so for this demonstration, I have to put on my console where I could do my configuration. Okay, so I have my console up. Let me drag this down here. I have my second router up here. So I have two routers already on. This is their console. This is router one, this is router two. So one of the first commands you have to do. On your router is to see the already um, configuration you have on it so you do show on okay I do show on to see the configuration I have on my router okay so um, this is what I have on this router okay so I have a couple of configuration already pre-installed Cisco router usually come with pre-configured um, installation they're called out-of-the-box configuration so you just have to do one or two things to trick it okay so now all my interfaces are down so now i just need to connect my interfaces together okay so to know the interfaces that are down and hop i type show ip interface brief okay okay so now if you could remember look at this connected this together let me show you um, this okay so this so it's showing easier and easier Okay, so I come back here, I click on this, and I do this. Okay, so I have my two routers back again. Okay, so I'm working with interface 0 slash 0. Okay, so I'm back now. So I go to my, to start my configuration, I go to my global configuration mode. So I do conf t to start with. Okay, I do conf t to start with. So I do... Conf T. Okay, so I'm now in my global configuration mode. So what I need to do now is to enter my interface mode, interface E zero slash zero. Okay, so I type my IP address, IP address ten dot ten. Sorry, the ten dot ten dot one. Okay, and I add my subnet mask at zero. Okay, so I do Cisco routers usually come all the interface are shut down by default, so I do a no shot to open the interface. So my interface is actually open now, so I'm good to go on this. So I come back here. Okay, so it's showing that interface is now up. So I come back here, I do the same thing. I do conf T global configuration mode interface E0 0 slash 0. That's my interface mode. So I type IP address 10 10 10 2. Okay, yeah. 255.255.255.0. So I open the interface and forget. No short. Sorry. No short. Okay, so we're good to go on this. So I do my ping. So do. Make sure the interface is up. So what I just need to do now is to ping the interface, the my first router, router one, to see if I can, if my configuration is correct. So I do ping 10. Dot that 10 that 10 that one okay uh, let's see let's see let's see now it's good we try it again and we're perfect so I do the same thing here do ping 10 dot 10 that 10 dot 10 dot one no the two now okay so 
here is two here is one okay so so now another thing you could do is that you can add an ip host name in other words what it means is that i don't need to start typing ping the ip address just in case i don't remember okay so to put myself on the side of the angels all i just need to do is to ensure that i have the name i resolve the name with an ip address on my router so instead of me typing 10 or 10 or 10 or 2 i just type ping router 2 okay so what i need to do is that i add an ip host name i first have to leave um, interface mode okay so i type do i do ip host the name is router 2 and the ip address is 10.10.10.10.2 yeah I do enter, I do the same thing here. I can actually do type it here. I could do, do um, IP host, IP host R1, okay, yeah, 10.10.10.1, okay, so I'm good. Uh, IP host, do IP host, oh, okay, so let me exit. Okay, so I do IP host R1. 10 dot, dot 10 dot 10 dot 1. Okay, so we're good. Like I said, I save my configuration to WR. Oh, sorry. Do WR. Okay, so it's confirmed. I do the same thing here. WR. Okay. WR. Okay, save in configuration. Okay, so it's good. Okay, so let me do my ping now. So I do ping R2. Oh, sorry. I have to use my do. Do ping. Out to. Yeah, we're fine. Good. Beautiful. So I do the same thing here. Do ping. R1. Fine. Beautiful. So I've been able to configure what I said I was going to do. Like I said, this video is just to show you how I could connect two routers together on the GNS3 which I've just done. I hope you enjoyed the video and I want to thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.